So this is the National Day of Prayer, so I do want to begin with a word of prayer right now. Heavenly Father, we come before you right now, and we just thank you for this day that you have given to us. And we thank you, Lord, for the privilege we have to gather together here in the courthouse in Danville. My country, tis a sweet land of liberty, of the I see. As a chaplain, I've talked to a lot of people and soldiers and stuff that it's, it's, it's important to be aware that God is in control in spite of what we see in the paper all the time. Everybody around the world certainly needs a prayer of good government and peace on earth. Jesus says that you love one another just as I have loved you. And when we think about that for a second, that we love as Jesus has loved us, how has Jesus loved us? Paul says in the book of Romans chapter 5 that he loved us while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. I think it's very important that we uh, pray for guidance in our country, for our leaders and, and knowledge and wisdom that keep this country on its feet. And I think it's very, very important that we try to represent Christ in our walk of life. 